Hello friends, in this video we will see what are the main components required for overhead transmission lines. We know that for the transmission of electrical power we have mainly two systems overhead transmission systems and underground transmission systems. So in this video we will deal with the main components of overhead transmission systems okay already we discussed we have two transmission systems overhead transmission system and underground transmission systems but based on economical consideration mainly overhead transmission system is commonly adopted for the transmission of electrical power over a long transmission length so in this overhead transmission systems we can transfer large amount of electrical power through the transmission lines the mechanical design of the overhead line is very important because they may subjected to certain weather conditions or any other external interferences like wind storm rains etc in this figure you can see a transmission system Now we can see a simple transmission system in this figure. So the major components of overhead transmission system, they are conductors, line supports, line insulators, cross amps, transmission tower, earth wire, damper windings and other miscellaneous components. The overall components that you can see in this diagram main components okay so we will discuss about each components in detail first we can discuss about the conductors or transmission lines they carry electrical power from sending end to receiving end stations they are the carriers of electrical power the materials used for the production of conductors or materials used as the conductors are mainly aluminium and its alloys because aluminium have good property of conductivity and the weight of the aluminium is very less when compared with the good conductor like copper so that aluminium and its alloys are commonly used as the transmission line or conductors for single circuit lines there will be three conductors and for double circuit lines there will be six conductors here you can see this is the conductors or transmission lines second important component is that line supports from this name it is clear that they will provide supports to the lines mechanical supports to the transmission lines or line conductors that can be of poles or towers here you can see the image for a pole structure and here you can see the image for tower okay and this line supports will provide suitable spacing between the conductors to avoid the short circuits and they will provide ground clearance to avoid line to ground fold okay these are the major points about line supports third important necessary component for transmission line that is line insulators or simply insulators they will provide necessary mechanical supports to the transmission line or conductors here in this figure you can see this is the transmission line here you can see two transmission lines here and here you can see insulators insulators provide necessary separation between this transmission line to the transmission tower okay so that there is no direct relation or that there is no direct connection between transmission tower ranch line okay simply this is the insulators 
okay and the materials used for the production of trans line insulator that is porcelain these points are very important for technical exam point of view okay and now let us going let us discuss about the major what are the major types of insulators that we can use for overhead transmission systems the first one that is pin type insulator they are mainly used up to the voltage range that is used up to 33 kilovolt and used in tangential posts you can see here in this figure this is the uh, diagram for pin type insulators okay and the next important type of insulator that is shackle insulators shackle insulators are mainly used at the end terminals of the conductors these points are very important about the shackle insulators and this shackle insulators can be used for both vertical and horizontal positions but pin type can be used for tangential position only but here in shackle insulators it can use both vertical and horizontal positions and up to 33 kilovolt range here is the diagram that shows shackle insulators they are mainly used at the ends of the end terminals of the transmission lines okay the third type of insulator that is suspension type insulator they are mainly used in tangential post and they are used in lines of voltages above 33 kilovolt okay and each disc carry 11 kv voltages this 11 kv mention for phase voltages okay here you can see many discs and each disc carry 11 kv voltages for example for 66 kv transmission line we can use how many numbers of disc so let us calculate it this number of disc means it is mainly based on phase values of voltages so that for 66 kv transmission lines 66 divided by root 3 that is equal to 38.1 so each disc carry 11 kilovolt so 38.1 divided by 11 we will get 3.46 that means 3.46 numbers of disc that we need that means approximately we can use 4 or 5 disc for 66 kv transmission lines this is the way of calculation for to find out the number of disc that needed for transmission lines for different voltages okay fourth important type of insulator that is strain insulators they are used in corners or sharp curves or dead ends of the lines here this is the diagram for strain insulators they are connected at the sharp curves of this transmission lines okay and the the important point is that it can be used as suspension insulators but suspension insulators cannot be used as the strain insulator that is the important comparison between suspension and strain insulators okay next type of insulator that we are using that is egg insulator or simply stay insulators they are used to support the poles or towers these are the major types of insulators that we are using in overhead transmission systems next fourth important component that is that we need for overhead transmission system that is cross amps cross amps will provide supports to the insulators placed in between the tower and insulators here you can see this is the cross amp and this is the transmission tower or simply we can see cross amps are the part of transmission towers this cross amps will connect insulators to the transmission tower okay this is the insulator and this will be the cross amps 
fifth important transmission component that is transmission tower they will provide mechanical supports to the conductors the top portion of the transmission tower that is the peak that is known as the peak of transmission towers and an earth shield wire or simply earth wire will be provided at the top end of the transmission tower okay next important component that is earth wire or earth shield wire or simply ground wires they are provided at the top of the transmission towers to protect the transmission line from lightning okay and they are connected between one or between from one tower to another tower and above the transmission lines and well grounded at regular intervals okay here in this diagram you can see the ground wires they are provided at the top of the transmission lines okay seventh important component that they are required for oil lines that is damper windings damper windings are provided in transmission lines to minimize the vibrations in transmission line due to high speed winds because the vibrations may leads to the break or breaking of the conductors so here you can see damper windings okay last point is miscellaneous components in addition to the above discussions we need step up step down transformers voltage relating devices circuit breakers lightning arresters etc Okay. Thank you.